coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Assassin! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the longer fighter. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. We march on three minutes to go.
Throwing that jab, no good. Able to check the high kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Nice straight punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big kick land. Lands to the body there. Twenty seconds left. In the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, second round is getting good. underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good ones. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Let's get busy with those now, man. Come on, let him go. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Right hand on point. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, 
in DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Ooh! That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. What a round. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me for more. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the same path. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets over. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. Just missed with the left there. That right hand landed. Lee circling to his right now. And he landed the right hand there. Head kick. Ooh, big shot lands. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Just over three minutes to go in round three. But you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Flush right hand is true. Lee gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Slips the punch nicely there. There's no give on that leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Left hook counter there yet again. Just a slip there. What a punch. Score that takedown. Oh, and he caught the kick. We need that takedown. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, the action continues here and now as our right. next round gets right. underway. The previous round might be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, 
but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Straight punch lands. Real sneaky body kick. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Not there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Moving to his left now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. What a body kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Wow, what a fight. Big head kick lands. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick. Every time he throws it. Come on, man. Let's get that take out. Trying to kick the leg out. <laughs> Watch the strike. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Just misses with the left hook. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Here we go, fifth and final round. Big call for punch man. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. I want to see the high kick. Nice job with that follow up shot as well. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, now. he might be out. Oh, nice high kick. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Nice punch by Lee. Right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. 
you got to just start letting everything fly. Oh, that's a good right hand. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. One minute to go in the fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Watch the shot. The final horn sounds. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of this.